I mean, again, he, he doesn't know who Gabriel is, right? Because he didn't come from an Abrahamic faith. The people of Mecca were pagan. The Quran has mentioned if this book was from other than God, they would have found in it many contradictions. If a book is without contradictions, that has no bearing on whether it comes from God or not. I've had phone books that are inerrant, but I certainly don't think God gave them. <laughs> that we believe without understanding. The brothers asked a very important question that most of the scholars say that listening to music, watching movies, and most of the television programs, they're haram. So how can we have fun? Let me tell you, brother, at the outset, that having fun is permitted in Islam as long as the fun is halal fun. <laughs> that the standard narrative has holes. The prophet tells us because Satan or the devil sleeps over our nostrils. Those who oversleep and not pray Fajr on time, Satan urinates in their ears. I really do think Jesus was crucified and that he really was dead and buried. He, he thought that he was a son of God in the sense that he was specially chosen by God. I think Jesus really did think he was going to be the Messiah, the future king of Israel. I mean, that is, after all, why they crucified him. All right. Hello, everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. Please invite your friends, and if you are a Muslim, invite your four wives and 60 kids. And today our topic is very, very serious. You know, Muhammadan, they remind me of Muhammad. When they lie, they forget what they said yesterday. If you remember, there is a verse in the Quran saying, any of our verses... Do we abrogate or cause to be forgotten? We will make something better or similar. But this idiot, Zakar Naik, he always bring mockery into Islam. And today we are going to show you how the Quran Yuka, he referred, the referred, what the heck with this English? Now the Muslim, they will make a response for the fruit. They will say, Christian Prince, he said the fruit. Where we can, we can, where we can find the fruit in our reference? There's no fruit. <laughs> so the Quran Yuka is going to refute the Quran Yuka. Uh, you know, I, I, today I wanted to see what I will talk about today. And then a video, because if you remember, last time we went live, I mentioned that uh, Zakir Naik, he said that uh, uh, the moonlight is reflected light. I don't know if you remember. All right. The Quran mentioned the light of the moon is reflected light 1400 years ago. And today, when I open my computer, uh, Yatuba Nayuka uh, suggests to me to watch the Quran Yuka. So I said to myself, what is that? And I found this. It says, Now is Allah the Noor of the universe, of, of the heaven and the earth? <laughs> so, the Quran Yuka in the previous video, he said the word Noor means reflected light, borrowed light. What the Quran Yuka will say about this one? Let us see first to refresh your memory about what the Quran Yuka he says in the previous video. Previously, the scientists, they thought that the light of the moon was its own light. But Quran says in Surah Furqan, chapter number 25, verse number 61, Blessed is he, that is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, uh -huh. who has made the constellations in the sky mm -hmm. and placed therein sun, that is a lamp, having its own light, and moon, having borrowed light. Hmm. The Arabic word used for the sun in the Quran, it is Shams. And its light is always described as Siraj, Wahaj, or Diya, which means a torch having a light of its own, or a blazing lamp, or a shining glory. <laughs> always the light of the sun is described as Wahaj. By the way, none of those words saying or mean that it have its own light, that's false. None. It's just describing how strong the lighting is. Anyway, 
The guy don't even speak Arabic, but he want to teach people what the word mean. But anyway, continue. Siraj or Diya, meaning a light of its own. Ah. The Arabic word for moon is Kamar. Uh -huh. And its light is described as Munir or Noor, meaning borrowed light or a reflected light. <laughs> there is not a single place in the Quran where the light of the moon is described as its own light. And the Arabic word for star is Najam. Uh -huh. And its light is described as Saqib, uh -huh. meaning the light by the time it reaches the earth. It loses <laughs> its brightness, like a piercing brightness. <laughs> Bright light by the time it reaches, it consumes itself. Mm. And this message, that the sun has its own light, describing as Vahaj, Siraj, or Diya, and the moon having borrowed light, that is Munir, or reflection of Nainur, is mentioned in several places in the Quran, including Surah Yunus. Chapter number 10, verse number 5, as well as Surah Nuh, chapter number 71, verse number 15 and 16. So now it's confirmed that the word Nur means reflected light. Be my witness, Muslims. This is the same potato. He make a video. And look at the title. Now is the is Allah the Nur of the heaven and the earth? <laughs> Dr. Zakir you said that. I mean, can you believe the stupidity level? How you just said that the word Noor is a reflected light, and now you are making a video saying Allah is the Noor of the heaven and the earth. How he can be the Noor of the heaven and the earth if the word Noor means reflected light and mean borrow light? So Allah himself, he borrowed light, therefore he cannot be the light. Tell us how Allah is the nur. Allah reflects light and um, he's made a nur. I a little kid got him busted. <laughs> is Allah, is a reflected light, he is a nur. <laughs> Who sent you? I didn't really understand that. The brother posed the question. He didn't understand my explanation. The brother, 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 the and now the kid, he is maybe seven, eight years old, saying to him, is Allah reflected light? Uh, <laughs> what? Uh, nur. And um, he's made a nur. I didn't really understand. Allah reflects light. And um, he's made a nur. I didn't really understand that. The brother posed the question. He didn't understand my explanation. Please repeat. To the counter argument of Dr. William Campbell regarding Noor and Allah. The Quran says in Surah Noor, chapter 24, verse number 35, that Allah is Noor of Samawati wal Ard, is the light of the heavens and the earth. He's a light. The meaning of light in the Quran, it is. Reflected light or borrowed light. So he's asking, does it mean that even Allah has got borrowed light? So the answer is giving further if you read in the verse, it says that it's like a parable of a niche. In the niche, there is a lamp. Hold on, 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 hold on. How it's a parable of a niche, you stupid. If you said he is Noor. You see, you see how they lie? Look, 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 just to show you. Show you, you know, I mean, the, the low class, the trashy. He tried to save his ass from the embarrassment. Read with me. He didn't say the parable. The parable come after. And you find in the Quran all over. Chapter 5, verse 15. Chapter 9, verse number 32. Chapter 24, verse number 35. And this is the one he is quoting. 
but all the over it says he is Nur. The parable came after he said he is the light, he is the Nur of the heaven and the earth. And the parable, the example of his light is the following. So either you have to admit that you are a donkey when you say the word Nur mean reflected light, trying to make out of a mistake in the Quran as a miracle. 1400 years ago or the word nur as you said it means reflected light and Allah is reflected light and if we read after you will see it says Allah is the nur of the heaven and earth and then it says the parable of his nur is the following but you will notice even that is not his light because here we have a lamp, we have a fuel, we have etc. So this is cannot be your light. You see, if I have a lamp, that lamp is not the light of the lamp. No, it's not. It's what is burning in the lamp if we are using oil. If we are using electricity, this is the light of the resistance of the electricity. This is not the lamp itself giving light. Otherwise, without electricity, this lamp can give nothing. And the electricity have to have a generator to make the current run. And then we have a kind of a resistance. We use some material which is when high resistance go through it, that cause a shiny light. So in either way, the Noor he used, and he confirmed in the previous video, that the word Noor appear all over the Quran. All over the Quran and always come as a word mean borrow light. Now, when a little kid, he is eight years old, he said to him, I don't understand how you say that Noor is a borrowed light, yet Allah himself is a Noor. You see, he is not saying his Noor is likeness, he said he is Noor. And that is all over the Quran. As you see, I'm showing you tons of verses. You see, not only here. Uh, chapter 618 they, they want to distinguish the nur of Allah they want to distinguish the nur of Allah the word here is nur and the funny here you will see in the translation saying by blowing with their mouth is Do you see it? So the nur of Allah is not even a nur. It's just a fire. And this is why in the previous verse, Allah himself supposedly explained to us his nur that it is a burning light in a niche. No fire, can, no fire is touching it, for it is the fire by itself. Which means you do not need to light it up it is lighted up already. So he made a stupid mistake and now he is trying to cover it up. And this is why we are laughing. Now those who want to make videos, you can make a short video about this topic alone. And we are done with this one. Do we have any Muhammadan would like to call us? Do we have any Muhammadan would like to call us? You see the Quran is full of miracles. I mean, who can deny that? A lot of miracles. Nobody can deny. The earth, there are seven earths as an example. Let us see the seven earths. If you ask any Muhammadan, where are they, those seven earths? Seven skies and seven earths. If you remember, the Muslim they tried to make the atmosphere seven levels. What what doesn't didn't work with them, you know. Uh, if you read the Quran, the word seven appear many times. 
you know, Muhammad always he stuck with number seven. He heard in the Bible the word seven, so we like, okay, you know what? Uh, we keep repeating it. So all of those you see in yellow, those is the word seven, seven. All right. So Allah He created in chapter sixty-five, verse number twelve, seven skies and seven earths. seven skies and seven earths who is a muslim can tell us what is the seven earths are do we have any muhammad would like to join us you know what let me see seven heavens is not earth Mansoor, it's in front of you, Mansoor. Mansoor is a blind man, like he's a prophet. He don't read what in his book. And actually, he looked like he, he never he never knew what his book is saying. So look what Mansoor is saying. Thank you, Mansoor, for your smart opinion. You must be the smartest in the family. This is the answer of Mansoor. Seven heaven is not earth's. You need to read the opinion of the Muslim scholars. <laughs> it's in the front of you, Mansoor, it says. He created seven skies and from the earth similar number. Do you see it? Uh, Mansoor, do you see it? And of the earth, similar number. Do you see the word number? So there are seven skies. And there is seven earths. So don't tell me you <laughs> bring, bring a scholar. I am the scholar. Why you don't let your scholar call me? So we can scholar together. Everybody scholar, everybody. I mean, in Islam, who is a scholar? You have to be an idiot, ignorant, and that they will call you a scholar. You grow a beard. You, you know, you tell them eat seven ajwa and uh, uh, eat uh, uh, nagla seed and then call them and ask them about salamander. He will say to you, salamander is the enemy of Allah and he tried to blow uh, uh, fire uh, of Abraham. Huh? You are a scholar. Where we can find the seven earths and what is seven earths? Remember, he created seven skies, seven skies. anyone you know what what about we go and see what the scholars they say about the seven earth is who is a Muslim would like to join us and tell us what the scholar says about this just read for me what the scholar said huh what the scholar said any Muslim can help us just call us and read it. You know, I'm not going to make you solve like a, a Disneyland, a Disney, Disneyland cartoon problem. Just tell us what what is the seven earth according to your prophet and your religion. What do you say? Hmm. Only Muhammadan. Nobody. Hmm. 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 Let us see. I mean, who can explain things better than Muhammad? What do you think, guys? I think Muhammad is the most capable person to explain things. Let us see, hold on. I will see if I can't find reference in English. Let us see here. Yeah, maybe this one is not in English.
Hmm. Okay, let us see what else. We have somebody trying to contact me. Don't call me if you are not a Muslim. Call me, I'm a Muslim. Okay, we found a fish. Let us see. Well, coin. Is not answering. Answer, Abdul. He is not answering. Let us call him again. If you are a Muslim, you'd like to join us, please feel free. We know, you know, that Muslims are very smart and they knew how to answer anything, any question. And this is why we are asking you to join us live on air. So you can explain things for us. Only super smart people believe in Islam. Only. You will not find the stupid ones believe in Islam. No way. It's mission impossible. This guy is not answering. If I call you one more time, you don't answer, I will block you. Hello? Yeah, you are calling me. You said you are a Muslim, aren't you? Hello? Hello? Why you hang up? I mean, this guy, he said, call, call me, I'm a Muslim. I call him, he hang up. What the heck? Why you hang up? Weird people, man. Look at this. Call me, I'm a Muslim. You call the guy, he hang up. <laughs> Let me call him again. What's wrong with people? No, he's not answering. Look like he is very smart. Okay, forget it, forget it. Anyway, no need for a drama. You don't want to answer, you don't want to talk. So why you text me and say that I'm a Muslim, call me? Uh, what this drama is about? What the heck would be about? You were excited a second ago, a second after, you are not. What you decide, you say to yourself, this guy is going to make me a shish kebab. So you decide not to uh, call. That's not nice of you, my friend. Be the man. Who is a Mohammedan can tell us what are they, the seven earthers? Yeah, he left Islam before we started the argument. Any Muslim can tell us what is the seven earthers? Are they above us or underneath of us? Any Muhammadan knows. If you don't like to talk about the seven earthers, we can talk about the seven skies. If you ask me, I prefer to talk about 7-Eleven. Do you remember the cartoon of the seven midget? Muhammad is stuck with seven. Jesus mentioned the word seven in the Bible, Muhammad copied it. He just mentioned to him something, he will copy it, he's stuck with it. Seven earth. Seven sky, seven verse, seventy-two version, and even seventy-two is is taken from the Bible. 
Do we have any Muhammadan? Somebody says I'm from Japan. How do you know? I mean, you cannot you cannot hide your ID these days. You know, I will tell you a secret. You know, I used to be the emperor for, of Japan uh, for three years, and then I made a mistake. You know, uh, when you are the emperor, you cannot marry someone she is not from your level. You know. So I married the emperor of China. She was a, a, a female at that time. But because she is an emperor from China, uh, she is not in my level. You know, ra Japanese are very racist. So they fired me from Japan. And then I became the emperor of China. This is why I changed my name like to Chong Hi Li. You know, everybody there, his name is Li. Anyway, so, I mean, I have my br brother Li and, uh, you know, even the wife I married her, her name is Lee. So I said to Lee, what do you think should do, Lee? Uh, she said, Lou, she started speaking French, French, because, you know, in French, you had Lou in the front. This is coming from the China. Lou, you should get out of here, because if you Lee stay here, you know, this is Lou and Lee. If you stay here, the Japanese will come after you and they will like uh, kill you. So I said, okay, you know what? I'm going to leave the Adam. I'm not going to be the, um, uh, the emperor of China. I decided to go to the seventh heaven, which is located in Somalia. In Somalia, I opened a, a, a pirate company. You know, I became the emperor of pirates. B business is so good. We hijack, you know, uh, uh, ships, uh, free, like, you know, anything. Like, you just name it. We got a free rice, a free zucchini, free, you know, even kimchi from Korea, we got it for free. And then, brother, all of those, by the way, are true stories. Uh, then, one day we went to do piracy with my men. I have a big army of uh, pirates. Uh, you know, they are like three people. So I took my army, three people, and we went to attack a ship. But then the waves and the storm came. And then the storm threw us in an island. Uh, and then when we are there in the beach, we saw a woman. She is covered by hair. I asked her, what's your name? I was afraid she would say to me, I'm Lee which means my previous wife from China following me, you know, because I ran away from there. And uh, maybe she is like growing here, so I will not notice her. She said, no, my name is Ajassasa. The second I, I heard the word Ajassasa, I remember Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. And I said to myself, you used to deny what the Prophet said, and now here we go. Ajassasa is right in the front of you. So I told Ajassasa, what do you want? She said, Either you convert to Islam now, or I will do something very harmful for you. I said, what? She said, I will make you do abolition the same as the Prophet used to do. I said, no, please. She said, no. You have to jump in water, have dead dogs and women of blood from period and stinky garbage. Which one you do? You convert to Islam or you jump with water, have dead dogs and women of blood from period and stinky garbage? I said, you know what? I mean, garbage and stinky garbage and dogs and etc. is way better than converting to Islam. Okay, take me there. She was shocked, like, you know, what the heck? He preferred to jump like the Prophet with stinky water and garbage and dead dogs better than converting to Islam. She Now she changed it. She said, okay, you know what? I just received a fax from Jibreel. No, we will not do that to you. You have to drink camel urine. Otherwise, you have to convert to Islam. I said, what the heck? You know what? I will drink camel urine, but I will not convert to Islam. I mean, all kinds of torture. You can imagine, you know, Islamic torture. She said, okay, you know what? I just received another fax, so we will not give you a camel urine. You have to eat seven ajwa and then drink poison. <laughs> Prophet Muhammad, he said, if you eat seven ajwa and you drink poison, nothing will happen to you. I said, no problem. I will eat seven ajwa and I will drink poison, but I will not convert to Islam. She said, no, hold on. I just received a fax. Look like all those things will not work with you. I will marry you to four women and you will have four mother-in-law. I said, please, I will convert to Islam. I will say shahada right now. No four women and no four mother-in-law, please. Please, just, you know, like, and then like she was, oh, finally we were able to you know, convert him to Islam, you know. I was really like, what the heck, four women and four mother-in-law? 
what? No, convert to Islam is better. And then, you know, like I was naive, I did not know what would happen. So I convert to Islam and they said to me, now because you're a Muslim, you have to marry four women. I said, but I convert because I will not avoid, you know, avoid the torture of four wives and mother, four mother-in-law. They said, no, the prophet says, my religion is the religion of ifin. So if you don't do ifin, you are not a Muslim. So anyway, I said to them, okay, if you all, and I decide to take a bicycle and I fly, you know, and nobody, uh, you know, excuse my language. And then I went to uh, a, a country far away in the New Zealand. Uh, New Zealand, the reason they call it New Zealand because they're receiving news from Prophet Muhammad. About what? About there's a guy, his name is a Christian prince, is coming to you. And uh, this is why they call it New Zealand. You know, I was like the, the newest news coming to them. They, before that, they never received news. I went to New Zealand. And then uh, when I landed in the beach of New Zealand in the middle of the desert in uh, Kuala Lumpur, uh, you know, uh, I, I found like a lot of people waiting for me. They said to me, are you uh, uh, Christian Prince? I said, yeah. They said, okay, you know what? We have a, a scientist, his name is Darwin, and he is uh, trying to do make a study to see what is the origin of monkeys. I said, what, I, what does have to do with me? They said to me, aren't you relative to Prophet Muhammad? I said, no. They said, aren't you from the Middle East? I said, yes. They said, aren't you an Arab? I said, yeah. They said, so you are a relative. So they captured me and they took me to the guy. His name is the, uh, Dar was, uh, the Darwin, peace be upon him. Uh, you know, like they put me in a cage and he started making a study. He look, he wrote, he wrote, start writing down. Middle Eastern, they have a lot of fur. You know, I said, this is not fur, you either. This is hair. We don't have fur. Hello, you know, anyway, he's, he's just idiot, you know, he don't listen to you. And then he says, uh, Middle Eastern, they use their hands when they eat, which is true. I could not deny that, you know, I said, okay, that makes sense, we do, you know. And he's trying to find out like a similarity between us and monkeys, you know. Anyway, so like, uh, uh, for sure, this is a true story. What's wrong with you, people? I mean, are you, are you saying you don't believe it? If there is anyone here, he have a doubt for a second. That my story is not true. What's wrong with people? I have witnesses. But you know, at that time and long time ago, all of all of them they die, you know. Hello? Yeah, my friend, you said you want to talk to me, you are a Muslim. So okay, well, where are you from? I'm from San Francisco. All right, my friend, welcome from San Francisco. Uh the the are you watching us in uh, in uh uh, and I'm you... right now. All right, my friend. So you are from San Francisco. We are asking about where is the seven earths and seven heavens in the no, Quran? No, 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 no. I wanted to correct you about the uh, the use of the word nur. Okay, what the word nur? Tell me, what is the word nur mean? It means light. Okay, but uh, Zakir Naik in his video, he said the word nur means light, but as a reflected light. I'm talking about what he's talking about. I'm talking about what I'm talking about. So do you agree with me that Zachary Nayak is lying? No, I'm not even addressing that issue. Why you don't I'm address it? Why you don't address it? We are addressing Zachary Nayak's statement. Either he is a truthful or he is not. And you are a Muslim. And if you are a truthful, then you should say, well, he is not telling the truth. Very simple. I, I'm not going to address his issue. I want to correct you in what you said about the word uh, 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 that a lot borrowed uh, light or that no, it's, means... it's not me who said that, my friend. You are you get it wrong. For me, I know that the word nur is not a borrowed light, but it's you Muslims who lie and you claim that the Quran speak about reflected light of the moon. So when the Muslim lie trying to make a scientific miracle out of the Quran, when the Quran using the word nur for everybody, nur for the sun, nur for the moon, nur for Allah, nur mean light doesn't no, does. No. No, no, not nur for Allah. So is Allah have a nur or not? Allah, uh, the word for Allah is an nur. Ah, al nur. Where do you get this from? Where, where do you get this from, al nur? An nur, the light. No, I don't want to Google it. Tell me where we can find the word al nur in the Quran. An nur. There's no, there is no word. There, there is no. There is no, there is no such a, there is no such a word in the Quran saying that Allah is Al Nur. Can you show me the verse? Uh, it says, it says that the the uh, uh, the 
and nur is Allah's attribute. Allah and nur is his attribute? Yes. Ah. No, he doesn't say al nur, it says nur. No, no, I'm telling you about Allah's attribute. Okay, how he how it is an attribute of Allah? If nur is attribute of the moon, attribute of the no, sun. No, not nur, not nur and nur. My friend, do you know what do, do you know what do you know what al mean? Do you know what al mean? Do, do you know what al mean? What? Do you know what al mean? Al al when you say al. The okay, so the that's mean any anything I add before the we make it uh, make it uh, the the car the train that will not change the the quality or the subject that is just to say I'm talking about a specific thing that's all. Yes, it's talking about. Okay, a specific where in the Quran? No problem. Where in the Quran it says that Allah is Al Nur? I'm I'm telling you that. And Nur is Allah's attribute. Okay, in order to find it, if in order to find attribute of Allah, you have to find it in the Quran, my friend. So where in the Quran it says he is Al Nur? You doesn't have to find it in the. Quran. So where do you get it from? Where do you, where do you get it from? Where do you get it from? Find and Nur in the uh, Arabic dictionary. N no Arabic dictionary. The word Nur is Nur. There's no Al Nur. There's Nur. It, no, no, no. And Nur. My friend. You said it's an attribute to Allah. Then we have to find it in the Quran. Where we can find it in the Quran? You know? Do you know what the ninety-nine attributes of Allah? Is? I I know, but we cannot find them in the Quran too. Here we go. An example. I said to you, where is Anur? You said it's not. It's not in the Quran. It's in dictionary. So you must then you find Allah in the dictionary. Don't divert from the question that I'm asking. I'm you. asking you where you get Anur from. You said dictionary. Um, no, I'm, no, I'm saying I get the Anura from Allah's attribute. Okay, where is attribute of Allah coming from? You said to me dictionary. I said, is it in the Quran? You said no. I did not say no. So where we can find it then? When you Muslim write the names of Allah and you say one of them is this and this and this, where do you get them from? You should get them from the Quran. Christian Prince, that uh -huh. deep from the question. You're trying to divert from the question. I'm asking you, do you know what the 99 attributes of Allah is? I know that they are stupid. Oh, you know, but they are stupid. But yeah, you know as an example, one of, one of them is Al Mudel. How Allah can be Al Mudel, the one who, who deceive? Okay, so you, you keep on trying to divert. You keep no, on to no, I am not. I am not. I am not. You see, in the Al Mudel, we can find it in the Quran. In the Quran, we can find the word Nur, but we cannot find Al Nur. Answer my question. Do you uh, know yeah. the 99 attributes of Allah? I know them and I told you they are stupid now. What is your answer? Where we can find Al Nur? One of them. Okay, I, I, you know, I will go with you. You are sound like you are a scholar who know nothing about Islam. But if Allah is Al Nur, if Allah, hold on, hold on, hold on. If Allah is Al Nur, is, is Allah is Nur? Is Allah is Allah really a Nur? I don't hear you. I don't know. I see your lips. I see your lips moving, but I hear no voice. I hear no voice. Don't ridicule me. Let's talk like peaceful men. I am. To we are talking peaceful way. I, I, did I say anything to you? No. I'm asking you. As long Allah, as long Allah is a Nur, why he have a leg? What? If Allah is light, why he have a leg? Have you ever heard of light have leg? A lake? Leg. He have legs. He have arms. He have fingers. Okay, you know better. You know better than to. No, you give me the answer. No, no, I do not know better. You know better, my friend. You know better. Better to even make a a, a, a statement like that. You know, it's not talking about physical leg. No, no, it's talking about physical leg. Physical leg. Physical. Okay. I'm going to show you. Okay, hold on. Let us see if it's physical or not. Here we go. I'm going to put the hadith for you in the screen. Look with me, please. No, no do not go to hadith. Why not? Why not? Why not? Why does it hurt your feeling? You does, are it, corrupt. does it? We know. Well, we know the Quran is the Quran is corrupted too. Who? Uh, okay. Why? Why the hadith is corrupted? Why the hadith is corrupted? We we know this. You know this. Why you? I I know. I know. I agree with you. I agree with you. Muhammad himself is a corrupt man, so everything he says is corrupt anyway. But I'm saying, why why you take the Quran? Why you take the so? Are you saying to me, I have to find you that Allah have a shin, have a leg, have a hands from the Quran, and then you accept? Not physical. 
Okay, how? What is the proof? Is they are not physical? Oh, okay. Come on, you use your common sense. That's the proof. Okay, no. Common okay, sense common the... sense. Common sense. Allah is a man. Is he a man or not? No, Allah is not a man. Okay. You know that. All right. You know that. Okay. 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 So, so, okay. Why? So, why the scholars? Why all the scholars? Why all the scholars? I don't hear you. I don't hear you. I, I see your lips moving, but I hear nothing. I don't know why. Do you, uh, you hear me on the phone? Yeah, but your lips is moving, but sometimes I hear nothing. I just see your lips moving. You hear me on the phone. So I know, I know you're on the phone, but I don't hear you. Video, just talk to me on the phone, and let's talk like two uh, peaceful... Uh, uh, no need to repeat ourselves. Okay, so when Allah, he says, I created Adam by my two hands. Is Allah creating Adam by hands or no? Okay. Hand is power. Power. Okay. So, okay. So why all the Muslims, why all the Muslims, they say, no, Allah, he used his hands. Are you a new, are you, are you a new scholar in Islam? Are you like better than the scholars? Hey, look, why are you trying to ridicule me? Let's no, talk. no, I'm asking you, what is your authority? I mean, we, we can show you Ibn Kathir, Al-Qurtubi, Al-Tabari, Al-Jalalain, all the scholars. Who are you? You know, in order to take you over them, you have to tell me who are you, what is your authority, so you can explain to me the Quran better than them. So, so uh, Allah can give his knowledge to any he choose. Ah, uh, but do you know how to read, how, do you know how to read the Quran? Do you know, do you know how to read the Quran? Yes. Is that Arabic? Is, is that Arabic? Is that Arabic, my friend? Huh? Is that Arabic? Yes, it's Arabic. Well, I can tell you don't speak Arabic at all. I mean, this is giving me rubbish. You are trying to make a sound of Arabic, but it's very broken, very bad, you know? No, no, no. no. Okay, I, I, you I, said, you said, ذلك القرآن لا ريب فيه. You do not even know how to say the verses. Listen carefully. So, how the Quran لا ريب فيه, and you just told me that a scholar, they say he have a shin, and he have a leg, and he have a hand, and yet you say the opposite. You say, no, it's metaphorical. So, how it is لا ريب فيه, which means there's no doubt about it, it is clear. And then you say to me, well, I have a different opinion and understanding of the Quran from all those Muslims. Obviously, the Quran then against the verse you gave me because if the Quran is clear, then you should not say what you are saying. You should agree with the rest of the Muslims. The Muslims should agree what the Quran is saying. So if the Muslims say Allah have hands and then you say, no, Allah don't have hands, mean power. That is funny. Why you, why you have a different meaning? Why you have different meaning? If the Quran, there is no Christian. doubt about what it's mean. Christian. Okay, go. Oh, I'm listening. Okay, you are a very intelligent man. I, I listen to you all the time. You are a very intelligent Christian. Okay. And I know you know doggone well what I'm talking about, and you just trying to ridicule me uh, and make me look like I don't know what I'm talking about. You don't you know what you are talking about. Prove me wrong, my friend. Prove me wrong. Prove me wrong. Uh, you just mentioned to me, you just mentioned to me a verse says, th this book, this book have no doubt about it. You are the one who chose the verse, correct? But you just told me yourself that the scholars, you, you just agree with the scholars, you agree, you just agree with the Hadith. So if the Quran have no doubt about it, then why you Muslims don't agree about it? Because of their ignorance. So you you are saying to me that the Quran was wrong. The Quran should say this Quran is not wrong, but the, but there is Muslims who they are the majority are ignorant. So now you told me that all the Muslims in the world they are ignorant, and you are the only smart Muslim who know what the Quran is saying. Is that correct? But you you are you are evil person that you're going to sit up there and make that judgment against me saying that I said that all the Muslims. You are saying are wrong. that you are saying that you said you, I said I said to you the Muslim they say Allah have a leg. You said no they are wrong they are ignorant. Is it you who called them ignorant or me? I I called the ones that you said. All of them, all the scholars agree. Oh, my friends, all the Muslim scholars agree that Allah have hands, Allah have a leg, Allah have five fingers, even your prophet. You see, you yourself, 
You yourself, you denied even the statement of your prophet and the excuse is, it is corrupt. So you just said to me, we Muslims, we lie about what the prophet said. So you even lie about your prophet. Your prophet did not say that according to you. What we Muslims, we fabricate hadith about the prophet because we are a bunch of liars. So you're accusing your brothers and sisters in Islam to be a bunch of liars. And all what the prophet said, he did not say. All of those stories is made up by Muslims. They are a bunch of liars. It's an evil thing that you are doing right now. You just told so, me I'm smart a second ago, and now you are saying to me you are doing evil thing because you cannot answer me. I am asking you, my friend, why you are why you are calling the Muslims evil? Because when you say when you say they fabricated the hadith, that means all Muslims will go to hell. Isn't it your prophet? He said that the one who fabricates something I did not say, he will sit on a chair of fire in hell. Are you afraid to let me talk? You are talking. Go ahead. Did I did I mute you? Yes, you you did. You, no, I did keep, not. Because you keep talking over I, me. That's because because, because my yeah. processor is so is so fast. This is not okay. my fault. Wait to let me talk. Okay, go. But I, I want you to tell me exactly why you say the Muslims are a bunch of liars. Because all of them, the majority agree. Allah have hands. Allah have legs. Go ahead. Okay. Can you play back? Where I said all the Muslims is lying. No, you said you said they are ignorant. The one who says that, but all the Muslims, especially the Sunni, agree that Allah He have hands and legs and foot. Prove to me that all the Muslims say that. Prove to me that the scholars. I can show you all the scholars. What do you want? Ibn Kathir, Al Qurtubi, Al Tabari, Al Jalalain, Ibn Abbas. Who you want? No, I want all of them. I want all, all of them. them. Okay, no problem. Which one you want? We start one by one. Oh, oh, all right, here we go, guys. All, all of them, all of them, all of them. Okay, no problem. Hmm. The Muslim women that you claim that I huh? said are false. All the Muslim men, all the Muslim women, okay. all the scholars. Okay, my friend. Okay, my friend. I'm going to hang up on you because I'm going to play a video, if you don't mind. I will call you back after I play the video. Is that okay? Hello? Do you hear me? I, I hear you loud okay. and clear. Okay, I'm going to hang up on you for just a few minutes and I will play a video and you listen to it and you call me back or I will call you back. Is that okay? No, no, no. You call me back. Okay, I will call you back, Your Majesty. No problem. Okay. No, you call me back. No problem. I will call you back. Yeah. Here we go. You call me back. I mean, what we can do? Okay. His <laughs> book describing himself. Okay. So this is your sheikhs. Here we go. Let's see. This is an example. And I like it when the Muslim, he tried to say he did not call all the Muslims liars. You did. Those are your sheikhs. Those are not YouTubers. They grow beard. It's, it's, a, it's a bigger than your, your, your size. And let us see what the sheikhs are saying. It's not me, it's not a Christian prince saying that. Being Allah Azza wa Jal attributes of humans, and the answer is no. Allah mentioned Azza wa Jal in his book describing himself a number of attributes that we believe in. So Allah Azza wa Jal tells us in Surah Al Rahman, Wayabaka Wajhu Rabbika. Allah Azza wa Jal. And this is what I call myself and all of my brothers and sisters. Recite the Quran. Get your best knowledge from the Quran. Don't devote five minutes a day, ten minutes a day to the Quran. No, devote more, an hour, an hour and a half to recite the Quran and to learn what it says at the same time. Now, in the Quran, Surah Al-Rahman, Allah Azza wa Jal says, وَيَبْقَى وَجْهُ رَبِّكَ ذُو الْجَلَالِ وَالْإِكْرَامِ Everything will be perished except Allah Azza wa Jal. And here Allah Azza wa Jal is referring to himself by saying that his face will remain, which means Allah Azza wa Jal uh, uh, subhanahu wa ta'ala will not perish. He is the first without a beginning and he is the last without an ending. Azza wa Jal. He's the creator of the all, uh, uh, what you see and what you do not see. And he's not created and he does not die and he does not have an ending. Subhanahu wa ta'ala. So Allah described in the Quran that he has a face. Allah described in the Quran that he has two hands, 
when he addressed Iblis, Satan. And he told him, what prevented you from prostrating to what I have created with my two hands? So this is what Allah described himself. Allah says in Surah Al-Qalam that on the day of judgment, Allah Azza wa Jal would uplift and show his leg. And they are called to prostrate and everyone prostrates except the hypocrites. All the believers would prostrate and the hypocrites will try to prostrate and their back goes one piece and they will be thrown into hell. Allah tells us about himself subhanahu wa ta'ala that he has an eye. The Prophet tells us that the Prophet has that Allah Azza wa Jal has fingers when he says, Oh Allah, the hearts are between two of your fingers. You flip them as you wish. Oh Allah, make my heart steadfast on your religion and so on. These attributes. One would say, Akhi, this is similar to humans. How can we say this to Allah? As I say, I seek Allah's forgiveness. <laughs> so did you see the attribute of Allah? Allah have a shin, Allah have a leg, Allah have a foot, Allah have five fingers, Allah have hands. And those are the Muslim Sunni. Those are the majority of Islam. This is Saudi Arabia, my friend. Let me call you back. Huh? Did, did you did you hear the shake my friend did you hear him uh, did you did you watch the shake in the TV hey that's why that's why uh, 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 their uh, 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 their world see you you you, you have Muslims that uh, follow uh, scholars that uh, have people strapping on have children strapping on bums and, uh -huh. and uh, uh, all kind of crazy things. Really? So, so why wouldn't you believe that these same scholars will say things about Allah which is not true? Okay, hold on. A second ago, before I hang up on you, you said to me, "Show me the scholars." I and now, and them. now I, I and now I showed you the scholars, and now you are calling them names. You describe I, them as a criminals. You you speak you 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 bad mouth the guy you don't even know the guy you bad mouth the guy you know all of this because you don't want to, you want to deny that your God Allah have five fingers he is a lizard not a human and he have a shin he is he, he, he you know my friend there's no proof that Allah is a man anyway there's no proof Allah is a man but obviously Allah have a physical body part and all the Muslims agree and now because you are in pain you do not know your religion okay let me ask you okay let me ask you again saying all there you go again saying all and then you show me one Muslim. One I will Muslim. show you. I will show you one million. Is that is that what satisfy you? You will say to me they are ignorant at the end. I will show you more. Do you want me to hang up and play for you more, ten, tons of videos? No, no. So no. what? I, so what I will do then? What I will do? What 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 I should do? So those are the ones who teach Islam, not you. You are nobody. I mean, do you have a qualification? Are you a sheikh? If you are a sheikh, tell me your name, my friend. I'm like Adam. You are like Adam. Someone that got Allah created from nothing. Okay, hold on. Adam is created by Allah. Is that correct? Allah created by Allah. Adam was created by Allah. Is that correct? No. Can I talk? Yeah. Can you mute the YouTube so you don't hear me twice? Okay. Can I talk? Yeah. Can you can talk? Go ahead. Ready to let me talk? Please go ahead. Okay, uh, do you believe that the Bible, uh, the Torah, and the Holy Quran uh, 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 addresses itself in symbolic language, in metaphors, in figurative language? Do you believe that? Not in the Quran. When the Quran say to you 70 versions, there are 70 versions. When the... Let's ask you a question. Yes or no? I just do say you... it. I just say it, not the Quran. I just say it, not the Quran. 
And not only that, not only that, when Allah want to make a parable, he say it's a parable. He's trying to copy Jesus. Muhammad is making, fabricating a book. So he say this is a parable. If it does not say it's a parable, then it is not a parable. So I'm asking you now, when Allah, he created Adam by his two hands, is that a parable? I'm, I'm asking you to answer my question first. I'm not I answered answer you. Nothing. I answered you. I said not in the Quran, the Quran. When Allah he says two hands, it's not a parable. Okay, okay, okay. Listen, listen, listen. Let's make it simple, me and you. I'm not going to ask you a question, but you mentioned to me, Adam, right? Yeah, you you mentioned to me, Adam. Okay. Did Allah order the angels to bow down to Adam, yes or no? Mute YouTube, mute YouTube. What, what scripture are you referring to? I'm reading hadith. It says that Allah, he ordered the angels to bow down to Adam. I already told you, don't speak to me about hadith. So, don't you, don't, speak to me about hadith. so you don't believe now in this story that Allah, he ordered the angels to bow down to Adam because it's a hadith. Uh, I'm saying do not quote hadith to me. Okay, if no problem. So now can we, can we, can we accept the story about the angels bowing down to Adam or it doesn't make sense to you? Listen, if you want to quote anything to me, quote Quran. Don't quote No to problem. Me. I'm trying to get your opinion, my friend. So are you, do you agree with the Muslim when they say that Allah, he ordered the angels to bow down to Adam? I, uh, I'm, not, uh, I'm not answering anything that is in the hadiths. I'm not answering. I'm not asking you about any hadith now. I'm asking you. The Muslim, they taught me when I was a kid that Allah, he ordered the Muslim, the order uh, uh, the angels to bow down to Adam. Is that a story you believe in, or this is against your logic? I'm asking you from what scripture are you quoting? I'm not uh, telling you any scriptures now. I'm asking you, do you believe in that or not? Either you say yes or not. Are you scared to say? Are you say? Are you scared to say as a man, I believe in it or I don't believe in it? Say it. I believe in what the scriptures say. Okay, do you believe what they told me that Allah, he was committing shirk and he ordered the angels to bow down to Adam? Because as I know, Muslim, they claim that you should only bow down to Allah and Allah will not allow you to bow down to anyone else. So when the Muslim, they told me that Allah, he ordered the angels to bow down to Adam, are they teaching Muslim shirk? Do you agree with them? Does scripture say that? Ah, so you are waiting. If the scriptures say that, you will say yes. If the scriptures say no, it doesn't matter if it's true or not. So you see, you are you are playing games now. When you want, when you want, it's a metaphorical. When you want, okay, no problem. Okay, it's, I am not talking about the scriptures now. I'm talking about what the Muslim told me. Why? Why you are scared to answer? Why you are scared? My, Listen, listen, why? Okay, give me your opinion as a man. Let us see, I met with you in the street. I, I invite you to have a coffee with me. You sound like a nice guy, okay? So now we are sitting to, to, to drink coffee. I ask you, what do you think about people believe that their God, he ordered the angels to bow down to Adam? Tell me, do you agree with them or not? Okay, finish the statement. I just don't finished. Just me, just I just, don't give me that, that I portion. just, I just finished the statement. Do you agree with them or not? Uh, give me a statement that for a reason that Allah sent the angels to Adam. I am not, I am not telling you any statement. This is what they told me. They told me that Allah, he ordered the angels to bow down to Adam. And I, for me, it's not convincing. Does it make sense? Does it make sense to you? I have never heard that before. Okay, now you heard it. So what you will say, do you agree with it or not? Make sense to you that Allah will make angels bow down to a man? I would have to talk to them and ask them where they get it from. Do you have to in talk to who? Me, you have to talk to who? In order for me to judge that statement, I would have to speak to them and ask them where did they get that statement from? Okay. Uh, the sheikh told them, told them that the sheikh. I don't believe in all the sheikhs. So you are They're saying so? So now you are saying this does not make sense because it doesn't make sense, right? So I, I do. Hey, do you believe? that some sheikhs ordered little kids to strap on bombs and go into Israel and blow up uh, 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 innocent people. I believe Muhammad told them that, not the sheikhs. Oh, Muhammad did not we can go, we can go, the, we can go for that later. Let us finish this one. Why, why, you are, why you are trying to change the topic? You are, a, my friend, you are a growing man. 
you are you, you are you are a growing man and you graduated from high school with phd degree so i'm asking you do you agree that angels bow down to adam do you agree with such an action yes or no uh, I, i'm not going to answer that until you answer what, my question. why you don't want to answer are you scared to answer because you don't answer my question is your mother-in-law behind you you are worried if you answer you will be in trouble is your mother-in-law behind you so you are worried if you answer you will be in trouble what is your mother-in-law is behind you and you are scared to give the correct answer the correct answer to what okay if somebody teaching his kids that allah ordered the angels to bow down should we follow this teaching or this is does not make any sense uh do you consider yourself a sheikh i used to be a prophet but they fire me because i eat too much baklava oh is that right yeah so are you going to answer me or not I know you're a very intelligent person. I know that. And this is why you are scared to answer, aren't you? No, I'm not afraid. Then to give answer. me the answer. I keep repeating my question to you for the last 20 minutes. And you, my friend, you are refusing to answer a simple logic. Do you Muslim believe that you should bow down to anyone except Allah? Should you bow down to a man? Should anyone bow down to a man or only to Allah? No, no, no man should bow down to no uh, to no man. Only okay, Allah. if a man should not bow down to any man, so is the angels is is should bow down to a man? It all depends on the word that you use when you say go down. No, I'm not saying go down. I said bow down, bow down. I did not say go down. I did, my friend, word, my friend, you speak I'm, English. I'm, you speak English better than me. You speak English better than me. I'm sure, and you know what bow down mean. Bow down, not go down. Bow down. You talking about sajida? Yeah, sajida. Yeah, sajida. Yeah. Okay, so now, sajida doesn't only mean a uh, 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 prostrating. So what does it mean? Huh? What what it does mean? Uh, submitting. Submitting. Ah, so when the angel they uh, sajada to Adam, they were submitting to Adam, worshiping him. No, not worshiping, submitting. So how they submit themselves to Adam? Just like uh, uh, Benjamin Franklin uh, uh, made the lightning submit to. Uh, we used to be afraid of lightning, and Benjamin Franklin wasn't afraid of the lightning no more. Ah. And he made the the lightning sajja submit to him. Ah, okay. So you Muslim now no more submit to Allah. The Muslim now, the Muslim, the Muslim angels now, they don't submit to Allah, they submit to Adam. The, uh, the Bible says it. Said what? That uh, 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 the angels became uh, uh, Lord than men. Ah, uh -huh. but what right? did, yeah, the angels, right? okay, the angels, the, the angels, even the Bible says, that the, the the angels the son of angels they marry the, the 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 human being he's talking about the good ones of us the good one of us who marry women who they are pagan like the muslims so this is bad sin because if you marry a muslim you become pagan you're trying to change the topic so i'm asking you now when a, when when the muslim they say bow down when the muslim they say listen listen you are trying to avoid the question my friend you are scared what kind of religion teach their children to bow down and just bow down to a man. Hey, I just explained to you what that meant. I just and, How you and, know and, what it's meant? They told me it's bow down. He bow down to Adam. He bow down. He bow down. They did not say submit. You are making things up. And there is nowhere in the Quran, where nowhere in Arabic it says sajada means submit. What are you talking about? Sajada always mean bowing down. It's a physical action. Doesn't no, it doesn't. Okay, so wow. so do you wow. agree? Okay, so now are you saying to me? Okay, explain to me. Explain to me. Listen, 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 listen. I will go with you. Ex explain. You don't have dictionary. Sajada mean only bowing down. You are ignorant. You don't speak Arabic. Arabic is not your language. Don't teach me Arabic. I'm asking you now. Okay, listen, 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 listen. Okay, I want to go with you. I want to go with your ignorance. I want to. I want to go with your, my friend. My friend Abdul, listen, I want to go with you.
I want to. I want to go. I want to go with you. I want to go with you. Listen, listen. So now you say the angels are submitting to Adam. What does that mean? Giving service. Giving service. Giving service. Yes. So they yes. became they became his servants. The angels are not above man now. They are not. Tell us that. So is Jibreel is uh, is above man or he's under the man? Fine when the Bible says that. No, listen. Is Jibreel is above the man? Listen. No, you listen and answer my question. You keep avoiding answer my question, but you continuously want me to answer your question. Hmm. So answer my question. You did not answer my question to answer your question. I'm repeating my question for those thirty minutes. I didn't, ask, I didn't ask a dozen of your questions. No, you did not answer anything yet. I'm asking you a very simple one. Should oh. should angels bow down to to a human? Yes or no? Hey, you know something? Yeah. You know? Something? No, I do not know. I, I like you. I like you. Okay. Because, um, uh, 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 can you, you tell me about you like me or not after you answer the question, please? You can God. tell me, my friend. Abdul, can, you can tell me if you like me or not later. I mean, you can, at the end of the video, I will give you five minutes to tell me how much you like me. All right? Christian, Listen, Christian, my friend, my friend. Stop, you need to stop, you need to stop ridiculing peoples and making fun of peoples. What? And you need to stop being evil, man. You okay. need to stop doing that. Okay, are you, are you saying to me, let's change topic now because you are under pressure, you can't answer a question? Can answer any question that you you ask. you keep uh, you keep playing you keep playing victims. Everything I say to you, you play victims. Stop saying evil. Why did I say anything to you? I did not say anything to you. All what I'm saying, give me the answer. And Allah, He ordered the angels to bow down. You said to me, the word bowing down means submit. That's a stupid of you, my friend. Do you have a proof? Could you give me a moment? Do you you see you uh, you gave me the answer already? Here we go. This is Quran. This is Quran. You are ignorant. You do not even know your religion. You just said you never heard this before. Everybody heard you. Correct, people? He said he never heard this before. Never, never, never. You are more than 60 years old. You never heard that the Quran repeated tons of times that Allah, he ordered the angels to bow down to Adam. What kind of a Muslim you are? I did not say I did not say I didn't hear that. Yes, you said I never heard this before. It's recorded. Did not say that. Show no, me. no, no, you said that. You said that. You said that. You said that. You said, I never heard this before. It's recorded. <laughs> it's recorded. Hey. <laughs> See, hey, you will lie just to get your point over, huh? My friend, you can play it after we finish. You can play your call to me after you finish. Everybody heard you. You said you never heard this before. Whoever is listening to your program know that I didn't say that. Okay, you wanna you wanna bet? You wanna bet? You wanna bet? You wanna bet? Yeah. You know? <laughs> that's another thing. Okay, no, no, no. Next time I go live, next time I go live, I will play your video. You that's saying, you yourself saying, I never heard that before. I said that about what you said about the angels going down to Adam. Yes, this is what I'm saying. You, you said you never heard this before, but this is in the Quran. You said to me, don't give me hadith, which means you never heard about it in the Quran. You asked me even, is that hadith or the scriptures? Are two different things. No, you, you know, if you know it, if you know it is exist in the Quran, you will not even say where it is. Allah did not order angels to go down to Adam. Okay, Allah read for me. All right, read for me. Read for me, chapter fifteen, verse number twenty-nine, verse number thirty, verse number thirty-one. Make sajda. Make sajda. Make sajda. Yeah, make sajda. No, he said, "Is what you do." The, the Allah ordered the angels to make sajda. Uh, to make sajda. What is that? <laughs> Shall we read the Nikathir? Shall we read the Nikathir? It means submit. It okay. means submit. Okay, my friend, which scholar of your religion agree with you? There is one, just one agree with you. Let me say this here. Say this, say this. That Allah. Yeah. No way. Bless. Uh huh. He pleased to bless. Ah. Uh, okay. Uh huh. 
We have a situation. We have a situation. We have a situation. What is a situation? Explain to us. We're, we're scholars. Mm. You know? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Situation. We have a situation. <laughs> I like you, by the way. <laughs> You are funny. So you have a situation. What is a situation? So the angels, Allah, He ordered them to bow down to Adam. All the scholars agree. Ibn Kathir, Al Qurtubi, Al Tabari, Al Jalalain. You name anyone, even your prophet agree. And now you are coming to me, saying to me, no, they submit to to to, to Adam as if as if Adam is Allah. <laughs> what? Bow down. Huh? Why do you keep saying bow down? Because this is what your scholar says, and this is what the Quran is saying. Okay, how many definitions is there for sajda? Only bowing down. Only. Only. No, only. 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 Okay, could oh. you give me a moment to look at my Arabic dictionary and oh. give you some definitions of sajda? Okay, you do not need to go. I can show you dictionary right away in the screen. No, no, I got a dictionary. I don't trust your dictionary. What do you mean? I'll show you, I will show you Islamic dictionary. <laughs> My dictionary. I don't trust what you put on screen. You put a lot of false things on screen. No, but you will show me something in the screen too. Uh, no, no, I'm gonna look. So at how it. I can trust what you will say to me if you don't show it to me in the screen? I want to see it. I just want to go to my Arabic dictionary. Okay, here we go. This is the Arabic dictionary. I have it in the front of me. Here we go. It says to throw ourselves down. Idolize, kneel, kneel with the forehead touching. This is your Islamic dictionary, Al Mahani. Wait to let me do that. I, I will, go ahead. I'm not holding you, but it took me two minutes to find it. It's idolize somebody, kneel with the forehead touching the ground, or idolize or uh, or regard with adoration, a, a, a and you throw yourself down. This is what Sajada mean. Okay, uh, let me ask you this. As an intelligent person... I am not intelligent. I'm an Arab. Have you ever seen an Arab intelligent? That's weird. Can, can I ask you this? No, no you, I, I, th I thought you want to show me the dictionary. Go ahead. Let me look at what you got up there on the screen for a second. Okay, don't forget to look at your dictionary too. As or enjoy with abduration. Ooh, uh, whoa, idolize or regard with abduration. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Aha, idolize, idolize, aha, aha. That's my question. Oh, boy. Huh? Idolize or regard with what, abduration. What idolize mean? What idolize mean? Worshipping. Uh -huh. Uh, what, what idolize mean? Worship idols. What do, what do adoration mean? It's same as idolize. Same as idolize. You bow down to a king. You know, he Ad is... He, adorations, I you, can you bow down to a king for he is your master. He is in control of you. You bow I down to God. You, you, you. Kneel, you kneel and your forehead is touching the ground. Wait, wait, wait. We're not talking about that definition. Let's talk about the other definition. What definition? There's no other definition. Here we go. It's All the definition in front of you. Adoration. To adore someone. Okay. To adore someone. Uh, this is not adoration only. This is idolize and regard with ad adoration. Keep saying idolize or bow down. <laughs> what about the other? Okay, uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. What is, it, what, is, what is the translation you yourself read? What Quran what? you read? What translation for Quran you use? I, 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 I do uh, Ali. I do... Uh, 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 Yusuf Ali? Ali. Yusuf, uh, Yusuf Ali? Yeah, Yusuf Ali. I do All Yusuf right. Ali. So if, if Yusuf I'm, Ali... Okay, if Yusuf... If, my friend. I'll, so if uh, Yusuf Ali... If Yusuf Ali says, bow down, that's mean we have to accept bow down. Do I agree? No, no. Ooh. So what we will do now? Why Yusuf Ali will not say bow down? Ali used to say, Uma means... Read, we. read, read, read. It says, they prostrated themselves all together. And Good. here it says, they prostrated themselves all together. You prostrate to Allah. You bow down to Allah. Put that Arabic back. Put the Arabic back up there. Here we go. This is the Arabic. Here we go. فَسَجَدَ الْمَلَائِكَ كُلُّهُمْ أَجْمَعُونَ No, put it up there. Put it up there. I put it. Here we go. Let me read it for you. Do you know Arabic? 
Let me read it for you. Do you know Arabic? Let me read it. I know Quranic Arabic. Oh, you know Quranic Arabic. That's good. Okay. I don't know conversation. I Arabic. know Korean Arabic. Arabic. Hmm. That kind of that kind of frightened you though, huh? Uh huh. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah. Kind of frightened you, huh? Yeah, I'm very scared of you, man. You have yeah, you have the ring of Solomon. Yeah. And how a black person, how a black person will believe in Islam anyway? We will go for that after you finish. Go ahead, read. Oh man, now we racist. Islam is racist. Yeah, Islam is racist. Islam says that the black only white people will go to heaven. I will show it to you. Just finish this one. Finish this one, and we'll go there. Wow. Wow, you will see that. Okay, just wait. <laughs> Uh, yeah wow <laughs> you you are something else man. read 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 we will go there read with you want to go okay i will change topic just for you here we go is it the quran says that in the judgment day allah will make all muslim white and all non-muslim black who translation is that i don't need translation i am an arab who translation is that? What translation you want? Tell me. What translation you want? What translation you want? You save Yusuf Ali. I show you Yusuf Ali. You want potato? I will show you potato. You want tomato? I will show you tomato. On the day, faces will be white and faces will be black. Wow! Wow! This is Quran. Man. This is Quran. Don't tell me this is a metaphor. You being a terrible person, man. My friend, chapter three, verse one o six. The Almighty will not forgive you. Well, I'm not going to say what the Almighty you, would There do. is no Almighty in Islam. You have an old Satan. Now read for me the racist Muhammad saying all, all people who they are not Muslim, Allah will make them black. And all those who they are Muslims, Allah will make them white. That's English. What English? This is, this is Arabic. Here we go. Read it. Read it. Here we go. Read it, Arabic. You claim you know Arabic Quran. Go ahead. Read it. Chapter 3, verse 106. Go ahead. Hey, um, wow. Have oh, yeah. you ever seen a black man? Have a what? Have you ever seen a black man? They are my best friend. I love them. Do you know what the color black is? The color black is white, actually. So have you ever seen a person that color? Yeah, there is a black and there is white and there is a, like me, myself, actually. I mean, I'm not, me. I'm not, you are not what? I'm not black. You are not a black. Get my picture on your on your video. I don't know. I don't know. So you are not a black. Okay. So so now you are racist. You don't want to be black no more. A white person. You are a white Look, person. Get a a sheet of white paper and you tell me if you ever seen a a people. That okay. So black. now you are a white person. No, no, no. You look at a white piece of paper. Why you are changing the topic? Read the Quran for me. You said that the one who says such a statement is racist. I agree with you. He is a piece of garbage, the one who says that. But this is Allah. It's not talking about the color of Okay, person. read it then. Read it. Why you don't read it? Go ahead. My friend, stop wasting my time. Read it for us. Go ahead. You said you know Arabic. Color of a person's skin. You said you know Arabic. Read it for us. Wow. Don't tell me wow and we and woo. Just read the verse, and I can show you the interpretation. Ibn Kathir, al qurtubi Al-Tabari, Al-Jalalain, choose the one I will show you. This talk, hey, I'm telling you, it's talking about character. What character? What character have to do with the word white and the word black? What black character? character? Okay, so you are saying to me, the one who have a bad character, we call them black. And those who have a good character, we call them white. Thank you very much. No, no, that is not what I said. You said, no, you said, I said to you what the word white mean and what the word black mean, you said, is talking about character. So now you, as a Muslim, you are a racist. You don't like black people and you deny even you are black. You are saying you are white and you don't want to be black. And now, because you are a Muslim, you are racist. So you believe that you are a white supremacist and black people are bad people. And you are saying black people, they have a bad character and white people, they have a good character. No black people. Read the verse. They, why people. Why you are refusing to read the verse? What the problem? No black people. Why you are refusing to read the verse? The racist created that terminology 
and describe ascribed it to people. They, uh, wow. Thank you. Wow. So you are saying to me, Allah is racist. He copied the bad people. So Allah, he copied the bad Arab who they are racist. And now Allah is copying the bad Arab and he is putting the racism of the Arab in the Quran as part of his religion. You making up these things? Why are you making up these? Our things? friend, I have it in the front of me in the screen. Why you don't read it? Uh, but you, you, you saying these are black skinned people. My friend, why you don't read it? And you tell me the meaning. Me that this is talking about why you don't skin? read it yes a black skin even even though you're a prophet he said that Allah will send the beast in the end of the time and this beast will have the ring of Solomon the staff of of, 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 uh, of uh, uh, Moses and will hit the black one the, the white one in his face or the black one in his face depend and if he's a Muslim or not he will make all the Muslim white and all non-Muslim black do you want to show you did Prophet Muhammad say so? Allahu alayhi wa sallam. Did Prophet Muhammad say uh -huh. that there's no difference between the Arab and the the uh, 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 non-Arab, the white and the black? Uh, using that terminology, okay. using that terminology, is did, that a saying? Did you finish? You see, you see how hypocrite you are. When I wanted to show you what the Hadith says, you said I don't accept the Hadith; it's corrupted. And now you are quoting a hadith which is unaccepted by Muslims. Look, guys, how hypocrite our friend Abdul. I said to him, let us see what your prophet said. For the last hour, he was saying to me, don't quote for me hadith. Hadith is corrupt. We know the hadith is corrupt. And now he could not find me anything to say except a corrupt hadith to prove his point. So why you refuse the hadith? And now you are quoting the hadith. So now you have no excuse. The prophet, he agree with the hadith. And you agree now. So now we can quote your prophet in the hadith saying that Allah created white people to go to heaven and it created the black people to go to hell why are you being evil you are the one who said hadith is corrupted and now you just quoted for me a hadith which is daif listen can i say something no you cannot why you are why you are lying to me for the last hour saying to me you don't accept hadith and now you are quoting hadith you don't want me to correct you huh you cannot correct me i am the corrector i can't corrupt you you because cannot correct me. I am the corrector. You cannot correct me. I am the corrector. I correct your God. I correct your prophet. And I got the Abdul busted. And I got you busted. I'm being friendly, by the way. Don't be, don't be upset. Don't hang up. So now, why you said to me, I don't accept the hadith each time I want to show you a hadith. And now suddenly, you accept the hadith, which is not even sahih. Being arrogant. That's what brought Satan down. Can you show me the sahih hadith you just quote for me? <laughs> That's what brought is the hadith you, you just quote for me is sahih. It is not too much pride, my friend. You oh, ac I'm, you I'm, don't I'm, accept. I'm, okay, listen, listen. Now, <laughs> <laughs> listeners are laughing at you around. No problem. Now. Okay, people will watch the video. Either they will laugh at me or they will laugh at you. I don't know. We will see. But I'm asking you, why you keep saying to me, you don't accept the hadith. Each time I want to show you a hadith, you say, hadith, we know. Don't quote for me hadith. I believe only in scriptures. You said that tens, tens of times. No, I did not say that. You did not. It's recorded. You want me to tell you what I said? You, it's recorded. You want me to tell you what I said? You, you know, it's, a, it's recorded. Okay, can I tell you what I said? You, what you said, what you said. I said, do not quote Hadith to me. A lot of whole, uh, Hadiths are corrupted. A well, lot. Okay, how you know the Hadith you are quoting now is not corrupted? It's not even in a Sahih book. <laughs> read for me. Read for me. Hold on. I'm going to hang up on you, and I'm going to read for you a Hadith. You will die laughing at yourself for a Muslim who is African. He, he is a Muslim. How an African person, he accept to be a Muslim for a second. This is authentic hadith. This is authentic hadith. Let me wait for you. Abu, uh -huh. Abu, uh -huh. Abu, 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 the scholar, they say this is authentic. The scholars agree. This is very authentic. Listen, let me read. Let me read. Let, let, me, let me let me read let me read I will, okay I will I will hang up I will hang up I will call you after three minutes I will read the hadith for you watch it to me please just watch no 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 don't go you know you want to love just go 
Abu Darda reported Allah Messenger saying, God created Adam when he created him and struck his right shoulder and brought forth the offspring white like small ants. And he struck his left shoulder and he brought forth his offspring black. And as though, though they were charcoal, then he said to the party on, on his right, said to paradise and I don't care. And to the one in the left shoulder, the party in the left shoulder, he said to hell and I do not care. Transmitted by the same book you quoted the hadith for me from. The hadith you quoted for me, the only hadith you quoted for me is in the same book. By the same Imam. The white ones in the right shoulder, they will go to heaven. And I don't care, Allah said. Those who they are in the left shoulder, they will go to hell. And I don't care. The Prophet Allah said, Allah said, this is not a hadith, this is Allah talking. How in the world anyone will believe in such a garbage religion? Regardless if you are a black or white. This is disgusting, filthy religion. And when I show you him in the Quran that Allah, he says he will make all the black go to have to, to all people who they are non-Muslims black and all those who they are Muslim white. He said, doesn't say that. Sajidah does not mean sajidah. Anything you say. And then we say to them, okay, can we read the interpretation? Do you see the hypocrisy? Unbelievable. And now if we go to the Quran, let us go to Ibn Kathir. I mean, instead of wasting our time speaking with someone ignorant, you do not know how to say his prophet name correctly. Let us go to the Quran, chapter 27, verse number 82. Is that metaphorical? People will die laughing at you, my friend. You are ignorant. You do not know that you are following white supremacist garbage cult. Okay, 27. Where is 27? Hold on. The chapter of the ant. The ant, brother. The ants. Okay, here we go. Who is talking there? This is not a YouTuber. This is Ibn Kathir quoting your prophet, quoting Ibn Abbas, quoting not the scholars, quoting Ibn Abbas himself, Muhammad himself. Here we go, Muhammad saying, you know, uh, uh, blah, 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 the Messenger of Allah said, blah, 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 blah. The signs of the hour, blah, 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 blah. Shish kebab hummus, here we go, blah, 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 blah. And then we continue until we arrive to the beast. The message of Allah said, a beast will emerge from the earth and with it will be the staff of Moses and the ring of Solomon, Suleiman. These be both on them. It will strike the nose of the disbeliever with the staff will make the face of the believer bright with ring. Translation is not accurate, will make it white shiny not just a bright but anyway soon we will see how the word white appear down until the people gather to eat and he will uh, the, the disbelievers with the uh, uh, will make it black so he will hit with the ring he will hit with the staff the muslim will become white all of them non muslim will become black because black is a color is a penalty in islam to be black is a penalty so when people they eat together they will recognize each other, all believer or disbeliever. How they knew? From the color. Because all black will be disbelievers, all white they will be believers. And now read with me carefully. This is a description of the beast, very funny, it's like a cartoon. And then here he will say, There will be, okay, here we go, it says, It will bring out 
with the staff of Moses and the ring of Suleiman. And there will be no believer left without out it making a white spot in his face, which will spread until his face is shining white as a result. And there will be no disbeliever left without making a black spot in his face until will spread and make his face black as a result. It's a metaphorical. It's a metaphorical. The staff, the beast, must be metaphorical. The ring of cinnamon, it's a metaphorical. The face is metaphorical. But none of the scholars say that. Except this poor man, Muhammad from San Francisco. They lied to him. They deceived him. He is an ignorant and he is going to go to hell. Because anyone who follows someone racist, he will go to hell. Racism is from the devil. He is not from God. And Muhammad is the devil. This is why Muhammad, he called even black people raising head. And as long you quote the hadith, then you accept the hadith. Each time I want to show him a hadith, he say, I don't accept. Let me call him one more time. Give him a chance. Maybe he will repent and will leave Islam. So my friend, did you see what I showed you in the screen? Yeah, I showed you what you showed me. Yeah, and what you say? What do I say? You yeah. gonna let me talk? Will you let me so talk? So all this time you are talking to me for the last two hours, I did not let you talk? Yeah, no, you always interrupt me. Well, I, I, I have to, you can interrupt me too. You interrupt me, I interrupt you, what's the problem? Uh, you won't never let me finish saying what That's I not. Say. This is a conversation. It's not. A, it's, it's not a, a somebody singing on the stage. So now, what? So what you will say about your prophet saying the beast will come, will make all the Muslim white and all all non-Muslim black? My prophet didn't say that. It says there your prophet said. No, my prophet didn't say that. It says there your prophet said. Why you are lying? No, my my prophet didn't say that. Why you are saying he did not say that? Why the Muslim? Why the Muslim? They say he said that, and you say he did not say that. What's wrong with you, Muslims? You are following satanic religion, my friend, because you are saying to me that we Muslims, we publish books, we print books. Ibn Kathir, you are saying to me, Ibn Kathir is a scumbag. He is a satanic man. He is a false Muslim. Say it. Say it. Say it. Why you don't say it? No, I, will, I want you to say Ibn Kathir is a liar. Say that. Me where Allah says Prophet Muhammad said that. I just showed you the Quran. You didn't show me the Quran. Say that. What? Just take care. I just showed you the Quran saying Allah will make their faces black. <laughs> What's wrong with people? I mean, it's it's hilarious. You did not show me the Quran saying that. The Quran full of that. Let me show you how many times the Quran, chapter 3, verse number 106. Here we go. <laughs> it did not say that. You did not show me that. <laughs> Is that Quran? <laughs> Is that Quran or this is a hadith? You did not show me that. So what I was doing when I was talking to you? On the day of resurrection, on, on the day, i.e. the day of resurrection, when some faces will become white and some faces will become black. As for those who faces become black, it will be said to them, <laughs> Did you reject the faith after accepting it? My friend, I'm so happy I will be black. What's wrong with being a black? Is that a sin to be black in Islam? Yes. I will be black and I will have a lot of girlfriends. <laughs> oh, 
what a stupid religion. You did not show me that in the Quran. <laughs> Talking to an ignorant is not different from talking to a wall. But he is a victim. I forgive him. I pray that the Lord will open his eyes. He is a fool. He is going to go to hell following a child molester like Muhammad. How anyone will accept such a stupid book. And the only way, the only way for those Muhammadan who they are driven by stupidity to avoid the truth is to say it's a metaphorical, Allah hand, it's a metaphorical, Allah have a penis, it's a metaphorical, the sun set in murky water, it's a metaphorical, uh, uh, Gog and Magog, he built a dam, it's a metaphorical. Anything is a stupid, it's a metaphorical. And by the way, the verse in the front of us is about people who left Islam. Because people were leaving Islam left and right when they noticed that Muhammad is a scumbag. Muhammad, he has 16 a privilege. More than 12 of them is about sex and money. Number 10, if the prophet eyes fall into a woman, her husband must divorce her so the prophet can if her immediately. How in the world anyone want to believe in such a garbage prophet? Poor kid, poor kid, even though he's a grown man, he's a kid for me. My friend, Islam is a disgusting cult. It's not only racist, it is stupid. It is a dummy cult. This guy, he is a Muslim because he cannot resist the sexual promises of Muhammad. Don't tell me now those versions are metaphorical. Your orgasm will be 70 years. It's a metaphorical. Your penis will be endless. It's a metaphorical. There's boys who they are white serving you in heaven. They are metaphorical. <laughs> there's wine in heaven it's a metaphorical but what the heck with this metaphorical but not a single Muslim scholar say so and this foolish poor person he keeps saying to me don't show me hadith you know hadith is corrupted and then he when I put him in the corner he quoted for me a hadith Do we have any smarter Muslim than this person would like to join us? Only Muslim can talk, yes, only Muslim, at least for now. Do we have any more educated Muslim he can help us? And he called me to correct me about the word Noor. I love it. Okay, are you going? Are you willing to condemn the lies of Zachary Naik? No, 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 no. I'm not going to. Why? Why? You see, this is a clear sign of corruption. You are refusing to rebuke someone lying about the Quran, because either he is saying the truth or he is lying. So, if you are a truthful person. If Islam teach you to be truthful, you should rebuke your brother. It doesn't matter what he is saying. As long as he is wrong, you should rebuke him. Hey, people in the chat, did you see me making videos against priests? Did you see me making videos against priests and rabbis? 
and Hindus and Muslims. Why I want to make videos against priests? Priest, Christian priest. Because we are truthful. We will not side with someone just because he's a Christian. Satan is Satan. It doesn't matter what uniform he wear. Garbage is garbage. The Bible said, be aware of false teachers. They will come to you in a clothes of a sheep, but they are wolves. But our friend here, he deny and he refused to condemn the false teaching. He called me to say actually that the word, look what he said, look how evil those Mohammedan are. He called me to correct me instead of correcting Zakarnaik because it's not me who said the word Nur is reflection. And then he said that the word Al Nur is from the attribute of Allah. I said to him, What is Al Nur? Where we can find it in the Quran? He refused to show me. There's Nur. There's no Al Nur. Which means you yourself, you are, you said you don't accept anything except the scriptures, but then you go to a web page, says Allah have those. Do you see the stupidity? He said he don't accept anything except the scriptures. And then they said to me, Al Nur. Okay, I said to him, where we can find Al Nur? He said, it's not in the Quran. Said, but, but you are the one who said you don't accept anything except the scriptures. Anyway, I forgive him for, you know, he was accusing me falsely that I'm smart. What a liar you are. Don't say that to my mom. She will not believe it. <laughs> I hate it when people accuse me falsely, you know, and he watched my videos every day. And until now, you are a Muslim. Are you high? You think you can bribe me by saying to you, I like your video, you are smart. I'm not a smart, I'm genius. I will tell you why I'm genius. My mom, when I was a kid, she used to say to me, you are Afrit. You know what Afrit? Afrit is a genie. So if you ask them, they say to you, he's a genie. Yes. You know, so genius. That's where it's coming from. Look at your stupid prophet. Even cartoon is better than your prophet. Can you believe it that the Afrit is in the Quran? Afrit is a story for kids. The Persian, they keep spoken about it. The Indian long before Islam. Suddenly the word Afrit appear in the Quran. Afrit. Look at the Afrit. If you type the word Afrit, you will die laughing. This is a fiction creature. He is so powerful, and he is Satan too. He is a, he is a from the, the from Shaitan. Afrit. Afrit in the Quran? Are you sure? And what the Afrit will do? The Afrit will go and steal the chair of a woman. She lives in Yemen. And the king, the Muslim king Solomon, you see, this is a Muslim king. Muslim king is a thief. Muslim prophet is a thief. All Muslim prophets are thieves. The Muslim prophet, he said, Who of you can go and steal her throne? Why you want to take her throne? What kind of religion? They just told him her throne is covered, is full of gold and silver and diamond. Who want to go and steal her throne? This is religion of God? What make it your throne to steal it? Then Afrit said to him, Me, me, me. Me. He's a prophet of Allah. He's a Afrit. Afrit actually is not so strong. Afrit is not a strong. All of them are strong. Afrit is someone special 
He is so fast and he is so powerful. All of them they are so powerful. But he is special with fast. He can go to anywhere in the world in like in a second. And always the Afrit in the Muslim movie, they make him an Asian person who have a long hair in the top. Let me show you. Here we go. This is a Muslim Afrit. Do you see the Afrit? This is Afrit, brother. And lately in the Muslim movies, they are trying, they start making Afrit as a black man. Afrit, Afrit, Afrit. I will take you with me from Jerusalem to Crete. In the speed of light, beat, beat. What the heck is that? Who have such a religion save Prophet of Allah? Only Prophet of Allah can bring you a free to home. Beautiful. And this guy with big stomach and big belly and big breast, how in the world he can go so fast? I mean, this guy, and look what he is wearing around his waist. It's like he's going to do a belly dancing. Afrit, in the book of Allah. And then, brother, this Afrit is not like any Afrit. He is Afritano. This Afrit is so special. The chapter of the ants is so special. <laughs> the value of the ants, brother. The va he, live in, he live in San Francisco in California. I'm sure you can go there to the value of the ants. This is where they grow gold and silver. <laughs> Maybe it's the Death Valley. Afrit. That's deep. And Solomon, brother, this guy, he have all the equipment you can believe or not believe. Oh, boy. Oh, oh. And the story of the bird who came to Solomon, he told him the story. Yeah, 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 yeah. True story from a true God. He is the God of the Abdul. From Liverpool. Garbage in, garbage out. If there is any Muslim would like to join us beside this poor man, I pray he will leave Islam by tomorrow, if not tonight. My friend, you might die today, and your soul will be taken away from you, and then you will end following a child molester, criminal. Thief, idiot. Did you ask yourself why we Arab Christians, after 1400 years of Islamic occupation, they could not make us believe in Islam? We pay jizya to stay not Muslims. We pay money. Every month since 1400 years ago, in order not to follow the garbage of Muhammad, because we knew and we are a one billion percent sure that he is a fraud and he is Satan. The Lord, he said, from their fruits you shall know them. And all Muslims, they lie. For the fruits of Islam is a lie. 